Shalom. I want to say all praises to you. I will buy El Shai. Double eyes of the elders and apostles at Great Millstone. Shalom. To the hopeful elect brethren out there. It's pushing this word in truth and sincerity. As well as well as Ak Akwath. That consists of the one third. With the women. The women. Some of the Akwath that do believe. All right. Uh, this lesson is about <clears throat> give him no rest because you know walking in this truth um the key things is uh prayer and the key things is prayer and meditating on this word and the kingdom you know and I'm gonna jump straight to this scripture this is Isaiah 62 and I'm gonna start at 6 and it reads to have set watch men up upon thy walls O Jerusalem which have never hold their peace day or night and that's uh the men of the Lord the prophets on the highways and the byways pushing his word the Lord set up them the watchmen to uh, condemn this place and wake up the elect that's going to be saved. When how shall I come back? It's, and the reason it says, He that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence. So, there it mentions keep not silence is uh, 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 dealing with prayer and is dealing with also uh, pushing out your shows. And keeping your conversation uh, holy, you know, uh, amongst the brethren, you know, you don't want to be in too much BS. You want to have a balance, you know, and it's keeping, keep not their silence. You know, when you pray, you know, ask the Lord when you, you know, uh, uh, to come back, you know. Ask Yahweh Shai, ask Yahweh in the name of Yahweh Shai to come back in your prayers, you know, and as much as you can pray in a day. Okay, whether it be a short prayer, you know, it's still not, it's still keeping that, that's keeping uh, not silence because the Lord wants to hear you. You know, the Lord wants to hear from you. You don't want to be like those people in the world who be like, I ain't talked to the Lord. I ain't talked to the, or they say God, but you know, they say, they say, I ain't talked to God in a while, you know? So when they say they going to talk to him, they like, oh, he ain't going to listen to me, you know? Cause you ain't talked to him in a while, you know, but the men of the Lord is commanded us of us to pray, you know, and to keep this word in our mouth. This is verse seven says, give him no rest. Till he establish until he make Jerusalem a praise on the earth in the earth. All right, so it was talking about give him no rest. And we're doing that. We're not giving him any rest, okay? We're crying out, you know, for the abominations that are done here. In the midst of this place, uh, America. Okay. That's thing and, and it's really, you know, talking to myself, you know, to, to pray more and to, to meditate more. You know, and, and be less distracted. You know, because it's, it's better when you're less distracted with, uh, you know, feeding yourself with, with spiritual things. All right. Prophecy. You know, charity. Those type of things, man. You know, we, we do our shows in the midst of that. We do sit downs with brethren and all that. All right. But praying, that's a big thing. So like if you hear something. Brother, but uh, this is another scripture. This is uh, the book, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 17. It says... Right. 
This is a uh, First Thessalonians five and seventeen. Oh, Slack, yeah. Wait, no, I was right. Yeah, it's First Thessalonians five and seventeen. It says. Okay, so yeah, it says uh it says uh oh wait I'll I'll just well yeah I'll start at uh sixteen it says rejoice evermore, pray without ceasing, verse seventeen. So yeah, we're supposed to be praying without ceasing. Okay. So whenever the spirit tells you to to, to pray, lift up a prayer. Hey, whether it be for yourself, whether it be to get demons off of you, whether it be praying to get, to get demons off somebody else, you know, casting out demons, pray for diligence. You can pray for, hey, what the scriptures say, you could pray whatever you need to pray for, you need to pray for it. All right? That's just what you have to do. Okay? Ain't like we can do everything on our own. We're just in his flesh. We have to pray, pray about it, you know, without ceasing. Okay, with nonstop, every day. That's what we have to do, man. And with through prayer, hey, I think this place is gonna go down. Okay, this place is gonna go down spiritually first through prayer, it's fasting as well. You know, giving him no rest. Yahweh shot. And we still keep this commandments. All 613 of them. We, to the best of our ability, we still keep these commandments, man. Okay? We do our best to. We don't just say we're saved and we can just go lolly, lollygag throughout America going on fucking, um, go. Going on damn, uh, what do you call it? Going on vacations, <laughs> cruises and all of that, man. You know? Because that's what our people are into these days, man. Going going on going on cruises. You know, it is into a bunch of folly. A bunch of nonsense. Uh, just being uh, indulged in this world. All right? This is the book of... <coughs> This is the book of Romans 8. This is the book of Romans 8, 26. It says, Likewise, the Spirit also helped with our infirmities, for we know not what we should pr pray for, for as we ought, but the Spirit itself make it intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. So, yeah, I'm going to read this one more time. It says, likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities. Kind of says, likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities. So, when we're in the Spirit, you know, around brothers, we really forget about all the hell we're catching, you know, because we're in the Spirit. It says, we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit itself make an intercession for us with groaning, which cannot be uttered, right? It says, with groaning that... that cannot be uttered that cannot be uttered right because sometimes you catch so much hell brothers you know are groaning and really going through it you know and, and, and with your affliction okay some you know you still have to bear your burden but sometimes we go through so much affliction here on this in this flesh on this earth you know brothers weep as the people call it in the world we go through it you know you going through it, you know. But that's where prayer comes from. That's what that's where just just manning up, you know. Apostle Gabar says this. He says, "To be a man of the Lord, first you have to be a man." All right. And to be a man, what does a man do? He does what he has to do. First, he he's a man. First, man, he does what he has to do. Okay. So we're supposed to give him no rest, you know, and, and sometimes brothers go through so much hell, 
you know, go through things that, you know, get to them. They, they weep. Brothers weep. Brothers mourn. No, but we don't, we don't, we don't, we're, we don't get too down to where, shit, we're no good for nobody. Because once you get too down in the dumps, you're, you're not good for nobody, man. Okay? So, hey, you got to go through, you got to go through and then be a man. First, you know, we're, we're not, we're not robots. We don't just, you know what I'm saying, get, put oil in our backs and then be, you know what I'm saying? But, but through, through prayer and meditation and, you know, praising the Lord, you know, it helps us uh, maintain in this truth. All right. And with that, I want to say all praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahshai. Double honor to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone who rule well. And Shalom to the hopeful elect brethren pushing his word throughout the four, four corners of this earth. And blessings to you, brothers. Shalom.